Welcome to DevNet Create. I'm Sylvia Spiva, Cisco Developer Community Manager. I'm here with a very special guest. Yes, you are special. Ken. I'm Ken Partridge from Western Telematic. I'm a principal engineer, and we're in Irvine, California. Tell us about why you're so involved with the DevNet community. Well, last year, we was first time at DevNet. It was fantastic. We needed to do Ansible stuff, right? John McDonough has this great course, How to Contribute to Ansible. Perfect. It might as well be in headlines for us, right? So I go there. It was great. We got to go up after and ask them a whole bunch of questions. The perfect thing about DevNet is if they don't know the answer, they will find the person that wrote it and actually answer the question for you. That's why we're involved in DevNet. We think it's great. I thank your company for the tweets. I asked, tell us your story. And boy, you told me your story. Oh, we got a big story. The, the big thing is last year at Orlando, you have this huge thing at uh, Universal Studios, right? So you know, usually they're really crowded, so I wasn't going to go. It's like, eh, I'm not going to go. It was hot, it was humid, and everything else. So I'm sitting in my hotel room. It starts at 6.30. All the people are going about 6.30. I call my buddy in Boston. He's an Uber driver. It's raining there. He's driving around. And he's going, you're not going? Are you serious? He actually swore, but I'm not going to swear. You better go to this thing. Free booze, free food, and everything else. I go, all right. So it's like 7.15, right? So I go down to the hotel. Our hotel is the farthest away you can be from the convention center. I walk all the way across the convention center. There's the bus line. There's nobody there, right? Absolutely empty. I get onto the bus. I sit in the first three rows. I'm sitting there, sitting there, nobody getting. Then I'm in come these two people. I go, oh, that lady looks really familiar. And it's Susan Wee, right? Susie Wee, Susie our Wee senior VP? Yeah, senior VP. And her husband, right? So I'm like, going, oh, God, okay, I got to say something. If I don't say something, I'm going to look like an idiot, right? Because I'm the only one on the bus with her and her husband, right? So I take a deep breath. I go, are you Susan Wee? She goes, oh yeah, I am. And she's all perky. I'm going, wait a minute. This lady's the VP of DevNet, right? And she has that enthusiasm. So now I get where everybody else gets enthusiasm from. She talked to me for 15 to 20 minutes, a maniac like me. And she just, she was really interested in what I was saying. And I couldn't believe it. I'm like, going, wow. And it literally percolates down to every single person, it seems to for me, who works for DevNet. If you have a question, they will get an answer. Even if it's not DevNet, if it's Cisco Live, wherever you go, they, list, they really do listen to you. If you ask it, what I think is a stupid question, they don't go, oh God, that question again. They actually go, oh yeah, no problem, I get that all the time. And they answer the question, and then if you have more, they will get you the answer. And that's why we love DevNet. We so appreciate that. I remember the tweets. Susie may have even shared that story during a team meeting. <laughs> But you know what you got to do? You have to go and find John McDonough and give him a hug. He loves you, man. Absolutely. And Hank Preston, too. He actually got us the momentum going with the beginner videos he does for the managers. So we love him, too. We love everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Let's have some fun at DevNet Create. Awesome. I'm ready to go.